So today, Microsoft had an announcement. They, they, they came out and they updated the Surface Pro X to make it a bit faster. And they also introduced a couple of new colors for their smart type cover keyboards. But the bigger announcement is one that I'm really excited about, and that's the new Surface Laptop Go. The reason why I'm so excited is because of its price point. This is like a $550 Ultrabook with an i5 processor, not the dinky processor that comes in the Surface Go 2-in-1, but an actual 10th gen Ice Lake processor. And if you're a student who loves the look of the Surface Laptop 3, like this one here, you're gonna like the look of the Surface Laptop Go. Now, in order to get it down to this price point, they obviously had to make some sacrifices. One being that the display size is not gonna be 13.5 inches, but 12.45. So a little smaller, reduce the resolution to about 1536 by 1024. So only 180 pixels per inch compared to 201 on the Surface Laptop 3. They removed Windows Hello facial recognition. You still get a webcam, but you don't get the recognition. If you want to log in securely, if you buy one model up, the 699 model, you can get a fingerprint scanner embedded into the power button. Now, even though it looks the same, they did make some sacrifices on the material. Like this is an all aluminum laptop. The Surface Laptop Go is gonna have aluminum on the top, but polycarbonate on the bottom. I don't think that's a big deal. Quite frankly, you don't really look at the bottom of your laptop and polycarbonate is lighter and the Surface Laptop Go is only gonna weigh 2.45 pounds. Now, if you're looking at this, there are three models. The entry level model is 550, but the problem is it only comes with four gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage. And we're talking about eMMC storage, so it's not gonna be very fast. My suggestion is to take a look at the 699 model, which nets you eight gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of storage. If you go for that model, that also means you get the fingerprint scanner embedded into the power button. Microsoft is obviously aiming this right at Chromebooks, but I still think like, if you're going to school, having a Windows laptop, having access to, to basically any app you want is a lot more attractive than a Chromebook. Like, don't get me wrong, Chromebooks are great, but this gives you more versatility. And I think for $699, the specs you get with this, with a very familiar and similar design to the Surface Laptop 3, I think a lot of students and individuals are gonna be very attracted to this. I mean, this is even a great laptop if you don't wanna buy the Surface Laptop 3, you know? Like it's gonna be smaller, lighter, and more portable, and the processor inside of here is very capable. It's just the GPU doesn't support that Iris Plus, which gives you a little bit more heft if you're doing anything graphically intensive. Now, obviously I'm gonna review this. It's available for pre-order today, coming out October 13. If you wanna see a full review of this, let me know your questions in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe Subscribe to the channel to see that. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.